losing his keys is no longer a concern for Sandro Portner. All he needs to do to open his front door is to swipe his hand in front of this chip reader. A fan of new technology, this young man from Switzerland has had two radio frequency identification chips implanted into his body. He's part of a new generation of what some have branded enhanced human beings. I'm not saying it's indispensable, but I'm a high-tech fan, and it's an invention I was interested in trying out. Another reason is I know it's easy to remove if I want to. Opening doors or switching on your smartphone, these are just some of the uses for these chips, and the range of new applications is growing. The size of a grain of rice encapsulated in bioactive glass the chips don't affect the human organism, according to developers. Even tattoo artists have started implanting them. We've had between 70 and 80 people come here to get implants. They come in waves. One person will get an implant, and then others will see the result, and they'll want one too. People think it's really weird to get an implant, and then they see the result and they think, I could try that too. Maybe one day the chip will allow me to do even more things. Is this technology really useful? For this Swiss anthropologist, it's all about today's luxury becoming tomorrow's necessity. The notion of usefulness is something that evolves. We're in a consumer society where the stakes are always higher. Today, some things seem useless or even ridiculous, but tomorrow or the day after, they'll seem essential because we'll have got used to the fact that they're technically possible. This is the case in the medical field. At the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, researchers have developed an RFID microchip which tracks cholesterol and helps adjust drug intake. There are many applications. In oncology, for example, you can measure anti-cancer drugs, which can be dangerous. So it's important to adjust the quantities you give a patient. It's a project which has fed all kinds of rumors, especially over the internet. In 2011, many websites announced that such implants would become compulsory in the United States as part of President Barack Obama's newly introduced health care plan, a hoax which has since been exposed. In this office in the Swedish capital, Stockholm, RFID chips allow wearers to open doors, swap contact details, or use the photocopier, all with the wave of a hand. Developers want to explore what possibilities the chip offers and see how products and services can be developed around the technology. Here you can open doors using your chip. You can uh, uh, do secure printing from a printers with the chip but you can also communicate with your mobile phone by sending your business card to individuals that you meet. According to developers, since the amount of metal in the chip is so small, there's no risk of it setting off metal detectors. And it's also safe during MRI scans or when using an induction oven. It's also very unlikely to break inside the body as it's buffered by the surrounding skin and tissue. Uh, it felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. Its developers say such a chip cannot be tracked, so there's no risk of privacy intrusion. The fact is, it's already in our lives. It now remains to be seen what this form of transhumanism holds for us in the future.